Hello and welcome to the Bank Reconciliation video tutorial for EasyLaw. Use the Bank Reconciliation feature to reconcile your bank statements and general ledger closing balances for all bank accounts each month. Reconciling bank accounts involves clearing checks and deposits that have cleared the bank, entering adjustments to the general ledger, and printing a detailed reconciliation worksheet that compares the adjusted bank balance with the adjusted general ledger balance. When the reconciliation is complete, you can automatically enter adjustments such as bank service charges to the general ledger. You can also save reconciliations to work on later. Select Month, Year End, followed by Bank Reconciliation to proceed. Enter the General Ledger Bank Account or press F5 to select the account from a list or click the down arrow to the right of the field. Enter the Bank Statement Date. I recommend that you have your bank prepare your bank statements to print at month end. This will also be in compliance with the Bar Association or Law Society in your area. The GL period date range will update automatically based on the bank statement date entered. These are the start and end dates of the month you are reconciling. Enter your bank statement ending balance. Click Clear Checks and Deposits. Outstanding checks dated on or before the bank statement date will display in the left column. Outstanding deposits dated on or before the bank statement date will display in the right column. Referring to your bank statement, mark the checks that have cleared the bank by clicking the checkbox located to the left of the check record. Using the same procedure, Clear the deposits that appear on your bank statement. To clear all checks or all deposits, click Select All. You can also automatically clear checks based on a bank file using Import Bank File. Checks with a zero amount that have been reversed can also be cleared. As you are clearing checks and deposits, refer to the lower portion of the screen for a summary of the amounts affecting the reconciliation. The bank statement ending balance plus outstanding deposits or deposits not cleared plus outstanding checks plus or minus bank statement adjustments should equal the general ledger closing balance plus or minus general ledger adjustments. If these totals do not match, the difference will display. You can also clear checks by using Clear Checks by Amounts. If necessary, enter or modify the bank reconciliation adjustments by clicking Exit to return to the previous screen. Using Posting Adjustments, click Recurring Charges to specify adjustments to be recorded each month or click New Adjustments for one-time adjustments. Recurring charges will display each month with the option to edit or delete the adjustments as necessary. New adjustments will clear after they have been posted. To enter a recurring charge, enter the date Enter the general ledger account. And enter a description. The description will appear on the general ledger reports for the account when the adjustment is entered. Enter the amount to be debited or credited to the general ledger account. The Bank Reconciliation Program knows that if you enter a debit to, for example, bank service charge expense, that the corresponding credit will be posted to the bank. You do not need to enter both sides of the adjusting entry as you would in the Journal Entry Program. It is also unnecessary to type the negative sign when entering credits. 
click Tab to continue entering adjustments or click Save or Exit to close the screen. Enter new adjustments in exactly the same way as recurring charges, remembering that these adjustments will not appear the next time you reconcile this bank account. Under Worksheet Adjustments, click General Ledger to record an adjustment on the worksheet that is not yet posted in EasyLaw. You will eventually have to post this adjustment and then remove this item so many clients do not use this feature. Click Bank Statement to record an adjustment on the worksheet that reflects a bank error. This adjustment will stay on the worksheet until the bank makes a correction. Enter the description of the adjustment followed by the amount to be debited or credited to the bank account. Click Tab to continue entering adjustments or click Save or Exit to close the screen. Click Print Worksheet once your bank reconciles. Or if you want to print it to review while working on their, your reconciliation. The worksheet details the adjustments to the bank statement and to the general ledger and indicates whether the bank is in balance. You will also have the option to print any adjustments recorded. If you have entered recurring charges or new adjustments, click Post Adjustments before Save Bank Rec to update the bank balance in EasyLaw. You can click Exit at any time to exit the bank reconciliation if you need to post adjustments or complete the bank reconciliation at a later date. You also need to exit before saving if you are entering adjustments in either receipts or checks so that they will update the bank reconciliation when you reopen it. Do not post adjustments until you are ready to save the bank rec. Thank you for watching the Bank Reconciliation video tutorial.